Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, August 31st. The activities to commemorate the 212th anniversary of Mexico's independence will begin tomorrow, September 1st, with a civic ceremony and flying of the flag on the esplanade of the Municipal Palace of San Jose del Cabo. Also, tomorrow, from 4 till 7 p.m., there will be a parade along Mijares Boulevard in San Jose del Cabo. The street will be closed for the parade, turning one of the lanes into a two-way street for the duration. The Director of Education, Jorge Ernesto Servin Mesa, announced that part of the festivities to celebrate Mexico's independence will be a kite-making contest where elementary school students from San Jose del Cabo, La Rivera, Santiago, Miraflores and Cabo San Lucas will participate. And in news brought to you by Gringo Gazette, the Tom Ramsey Foundation comes to Cabo. The foundation will build a community center employing 40 people and supporting the community of Caribe Bajo, located near Cabo San Lucas Airport. Tom Ramsey is a former professional football quarterback who played five seasons in the NFL for the New England Patriots and one season for the Indianapolis Colts. The Tom Ramsey Foundation is committed to building bridges between individuals, businesses, and community organizations who in collaboration will stand in the gap for those who are called to serve. And in more news brought to you by Gringo Gazette, Oregon resident Randy Romero caught a 68-inch long and a few ounces shy of 81 pounds dorado. A dorado this big is a rare category of dorados weighing over 80 pounds, as only a few of them have been recorded by the IGFA, International Game Fish Association. Randy and his wife also go to Marlin. That's the one that got away. The catch was aboard La Patrona, a fishing boat owned by Pacific Time Sports Fishing in Cabo San Lucas. And in more local news, Culinary Awards Los Cabos 2022 has decided to extend its voting period so that more people can participate in this dynamic for everybody to have an opportunity to vote for their favorite restaurants. 139 restaurants have registered to participate in this year's edition of the Culinary Awards. You can download the application at Culinary Awards and then select your favorite restaurants. And once you've selected your favorite restaurants, you can vote for them. The voting period has been extended until October 7. Download the application, vote for your favorite restaurants, and become part of the third edition of Culinary Awards. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Velo and special guest Nick Fong of Ronneval Real Estate.